Hi everyone, it's Cheryl. Uh, let's do a take two on this. I did this video yesterday. It is an update to let you know that uh, on the fabric covered journal covers, I was hoping to have had the video up by now, but my former KMR card decided that it was old and it was worn out and it wasn't going to record anymore, so I couldn't even get, you know, I couldn't even get anything off of it. So the other day I was at Shopco and they're going out of business and so they had camera cards like ones with a lot of memory for really cheap so I bought a new one and then yesterday I sat down to do this video and when I did the video came out blue because I had my camera set wrong <laughs> I clicked an automatic instead of a manual on something so that didn't go well so when I'm, I was, I was honestly planning to have part three of that video up by now, and I'm hoping I can have it up by tomorrow. I was going to record it yesterday, or start recording yesterday. I'm not sure if it's going to be a one or two parter, but I started to record it yesterday, and my supervisor sends me a text. Can you come in early? It's like, yeah, I don't want to come in early. I feel like I live there now, but I did, and, you know, hopefully someday this will, I'll get something out of this, you know? I did get nominated for Employee of the Quarter. I didn't win it, but I got nominated, and I was nominated with a lot of really good, really hardworking people, so that made me feel really good that I at least got nominated for it. And so that was, you know, kind of a nice little surprise for me. I, uh, so I thought I'd share with you right now. The other day I was watching Janet Green, and I love her videos. I love her projects. I love what she does. So yeah, you're going to hear her name a lot probably. And she started doing Journaling by Fives for 2019. I started the original Journaling by Fives, but I didn't get very far. Now the idea was to relax you and get you more comfortable with everything. Oh no, what happens to me? I get more uptight. I get I freak out and I just like freeze and I can't do it because at the time, you know, doing anything art journaling was very, very new to me. It's still, still I'm not good at it, but I keep trying. I, that's the main thing, right? We keep trying. And so I didn't finish that one. And so I started this one the other day and with every intent in the world of sharing it along with you, it was going to be up after my last fabric covered video, you know, video was done. And because I, I didn't have a lot of time to work on a video to, to put toward the Fabric Cover Journal. So in, I, instead I started this journaling by fives and I got it. I promise you I got the pages done in the 15 minute time period barely. Because I was yakking away on the video but my old card was no good so I, I used another card but it didn't have a lot of memory and it quit about three quarters of the way through the video. I did get this done in the 15 minutes, but, but because I talk too much, I'm sure a lot of you will agree, I talk too much, and <laughs> I, did, I, I got it done with like maybe, I don't know, 40 seconds to, you know, to go. But I did do it in the time. The only thing I did do, I kind of cheated. Shannon had bought some neon color or used some neon colors in her journal, and I loved the way they looked, you know, when you get the, you get all your colors laid down, and then... She went over hers with, she had time. She went over hers with her uh, neons, and I liked it so much, so I went ahead and did the neons too. And I think I'm going to finish this up with you guys. You know, finish doing it. You know, as I go, it's probably not going to be like, boom, I did this one, and then I did that one, and, you know, right in a row. It's probably going to be broken up a little bit uh, in between other projects. But yeah, I thought I'd finish it with you guys online. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through of this what I got, did get done and toward the end my pages were getting rather muddy looking because I had a whole bunch of paint out and I, I wanted to use it up I didn't want to waste it and I didn't have anything else out with me I wasn't prepared I didn't have like old book pages or anything like that I could swipe it off on so my last page is kind of muddy but I kind of like it so it's all good okay so I was just laying out the colors and then like I said going with the neon around the edges like she did be and, and that I did cheat. I went back and did that later. I don't know if that's cheating, but in my mind it's kind of cheating. So, so I'm trying to get the frame a little better. And then there was this one. It got kind of muddy where the colors joined, but I kind of like it. 
My last journal I thought was the ugliest, most horrible thing ever, and I remember I laughed and laughed through it, and a lot of people told me they really enjoyed it. This one I tried to make more colorful and bright. So I've got some hopefully bright colors going on here. Some of the colors remind me of the 70s and stuff like that. I uh, get a lot of green and brown, you know, brown from it getting muddy and orange and yellow. And so this one, I, this one I am really looking forward to doing. And when I did it, I used a paper. It's my ex-husband, his mother still uses a typewriter. Couples! Sorry, kitty. Um, she uses a typewriter and she had some of this 100% cotton typing paper and she was going to throw out almost a whole box of it and so he was being nice at the time and got me, got it for me. And I like it a lot but I've noticed like when coffee dyeing it for journals because I like the weight of the paper and I like the feel. It's got a really smooth, kind of not papery texture. It's really different and when I used it before, well, for coffee dyeing, it would get sticky. So I was kind of worried about it with this, but it seems to have done pretty good with this. The pages didn't stick too bad. But I, I like the paper. I like the weight of the paper. I love the feel of the paper. But, yeah, it got kind of sticky on me when I was coffee dyeing, so I had to watch that or they would stick together. They were fine once they were dry, but it got kind of a weird, slimy, sticky feel to it. And I'm assuming that's just how it was made, but... It was something different. I've got some white. I've got to go cover up on this page and this page. This one got a little, I don't know, earthy kind of greens, oranges, kind of mixed into a muddy brown. A lot of them are just rainbow colored. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun doing this one. This one, you can, got kind of dark. This is where I was getting a lot of paint and trying to use it up. And then this was the very last one. It got super dark. You know what? I kind of like it. I think it's going to be fun to work with. I really, really like it. I can see, you know, when I get to the pen part, using white on it and stuff. So, yeah, I honestly, I'm not unhappy with how any of this turned out. And then this is my back cover, which I'm doing out of the paper also. But I will figure those out later on, what I'm going to do with my covers exactly. Anyway, I am hoping to have part three of the Fabric Covered Journals I'm done by tomorrow. So I thank you all for joining me, and I hope that you all have a great day. Bye for now.